Hello, folks. We are back. We are live once again, and you are listening to Beyond Sight and Sound. <clears throat> Man, a little bit of an exciting night tonight. Hopefully, the listeners are starting to pile into the chat. I'm sure that we will probably see many familiar names tonight. Many names of people who have, in fact, been following the situation at hand with Kenny and Krista and, and Lynette and their family. Uh, tonight is, of course, <clears throat> we're taking the time tonight to say... Thank you for all who have shown support, uh, either by donation or uh, donation of an item for the giveaway to say thank you. A lot of people showed their support, but uh, really, nobody can say it can can say how much of an impact that made or how thankful they are other than the people that it truly directly affected I mean I'm very appreciative for everything that the listeners have done to help with this but the co-host Kenny Moore can speak from a little different perspective and uh, we've actually got someone else online with us here, too, that can probably add some enlightenment to that. So let's get them in here real quick. How's it going, you two? Man, it is going good. Uh, it's been uh, it's been challenging the last couple of weeks trying to get everything together and uh, just uh, administratively and, uh, you know, leaving for anywhere from you know a month and a half to two months there's stuff you have to tie down before you go and then on top of that uh if anybody's watched any of my videos digging with duke uh duke had to go to the doctor today so i had to uh, take care of him and uh we're just looking forward to getting out of here waiting for the kids i think we're gonna find out we should find out this week i hope if they're exempt, uh, if they are, we will be heading out, I believe, somewhere, well, I think it'd be on the 16th, I believe we'll get to go. Isn't that about right there, honey? Yeah, the 16th, because I think they'd be out the 15th. Oh, that's little Miss Dirt Bandit. Yeah, to speak up, baby. Uh -huh. um, well, as soon as we can go, we're going to go. Right. I'm afraid one of the boys are going to be exempt. I know Kyle's going to be exempt, our oldest boy. But our youngest one, I don't know about you just yet. Well, and unfortunately, plan as much as you can, but uh, sometimes these things still take a little bit of time. Well, here's, here's the main thing. Uh, we are going. We're getting ready to go as if we're leaving on the 16th. Uh, and if that is delayed, it will just be to the 21st. So that'd be the latest. So either way, we're out of here and it's thanks to the listeners, all the good folks that, that have supported this situation with, uh, Krista and Lynette's mom. Um, it's been overwhelming the support that we got. Uh, I will thank everybody again and the the whole reason for this thank you fundraiser is because it's the only way I could feel like to give something back uh in return and uh Josh I thank you for everything you've done to be involved in this um so that that's that's how we're going to do it uh when we do leave I'm going to start shooting video and we're going to have on the road video. Like I said last week, that'll be probably hilarious. And then, uh, obviously when we get there, when you see the video with Krista and Lynette and the boys, uh, being able to be at the bedside of their grandma 
that will be the the nail right there um, right. for everybody to kind of see see what what their support has done and uh so we're just very appreciative but i'm long-winded so i'm ready josh well and i'll tell you speaking of appreciative uh i see a number of names in the chat already people have been following this very close linux is in beer barrel ohio relic hunter swansea suki Grimatam. Uh, Super Drew, can't forget him. And, no, I saw uh, him. With uh, Super Drew, um, folks, if you're on Facebook, there's a new Facebook group called, quite simply, Super Drew. It's just like it's spelled in the live chat right there. Do a search, check out the Facebook group, join it. Uh, you know, it's metal detecting, it's coins. And an occasional giveaway, even. And hey, who doesn't like a giveaway? So uh, make sure and check him out. And uh, also, while we're on that topic, good friend uh, dropped into the chat last week, Jack of All Trades. Let's make sure and, and just kind of keep him in our thoughts. He's... Uh, He's, he's having a little bit of a rough time right now, and it's always good to know that you have the support of your your peers, your friends, and let's just uh, make sure that we keep him in our thoughts as well. Yeah, now, get with me after, Josh, about that. Now, he's not too far from me. I think he's only uh, yeah, southwest of like, me a couple of counties. Yeah, a couple of counties away. So I wanted to make sure to mention that. Also, my apologies. I may not have got the promo out everywhere this morning. Uh, things were a little rough this morning, but hey, we still got the promo out. The show still goes on. Uh, and I must kind of make a a bit of a retraction. Or uh, that's a that's kind of a bad way of putting it. A correction, we'll say. <clears throat> Many times in the past, you've heard me mention on the show that you can always check out Evan Granger with Big Boy's Hobbies for your your gear and accessories if you're out there around his area. Please, if you do contact Big Boy's Hobbies, make sure to mention that you would like to speak to Evan. Or contact Evan directly at his direct line, which I did post today on my Facebook timeline and in the Beyond Sight and Sound group. <clears throat> Just to alleviate any confusion, you know, Evan's a great guy to deal with. And speaking of great people to deal with, keep watching Swashbuckler Digging Tools on Facebook. This fall they should hopefully be up and running. That should be something interesting to see coming on the front. So we'll see how that goes. But hmm. <laughs> but for everyone else, man, we've got a lot of people in here. Hopefully, we're going to see some winners tonight. And people are uh, more than welcome to call in. Uh, if they'd have anything they'd like to add to the uh, show, you know, just call in and say, hey, uh, you know, I'm just showing my support. I just want to say we're keeping everybody in our thoughts. Whatever. Uh, maybe we can squeeze in a call about something you found lately. You just never know around here. Absolutely. And Speaking of just never know around here, this should be interesting tonight. We're kind of scrambling. We're going to see what we can do. For those who have followed the situation, what we're going to do is we have compiled a list of items that we're going to use a random number generator for to award these items as a way of saying thanks. I, I do wish that, you know, 
there would have been maybe more items to give away uh or or a way that we could say thank you to a little fuller extent because it is honestly appreciated it's truly appreciated no matter who wins this was not done in an intention to oh hey let's just let's do a raffle that wasn't the intention the intention was to see if people would show support for this situation at hand and when we saw the amount of support that was starting to come in we decided we've got to do something to say thanks no matter how big or small it is we're not a big organization here so we just tried to scramble together what we could with some help from some friends indeed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the random.org generator I think I was on random maybe I'm on Bob's digging it I'll have to go back and check but either way we've got a uh, random number generator and those who have donated every ten dollar increment would get you a entry into this little thank you drawing and uh, it was one of those situations where anybody that did did donate I was uh, kept up to date on that everyone was compiled into a list with numbers assigned to names so we're going to give this a shot and see how it goes and to everyone that's been following like I said thank you very much for everything you've done it's uh, it's very flattering it's very humbling and I for one am very appreciative and we've got a caller here go ahead caller hey how you doing Kenny and Josh hey how's it going how is Swans. it going man not too bad I just wanted to say uh, it wouldn't matter if you guys did giveaways or anything oh, like that God. that's not what this was about this was about helping out a fellow detectorist who puts up great videos informational things you and Lynette you guys deserve everybody's support that's out there. I was just, I was happy to be part of this, and I would be happy to do it again for anybody else that I respect as much as you do, Kenny. Well, man, I appreciate it, and uh, Krista does as well, and Lynette. Um, you know, it, it means a lot. You know, and this I, I've noticed this hobby and the and the people in it uh, for the most part. I would say ninety five percent, if not higher, they're. We're all we're all in it for the same reason, and pretty much everybody's on the same level. And it's just it's a great hobby. And it's a great bunch of great great group of folks that's in it. And when somebody falls down, it seems to uh, be several there to pick them up, and that's right. impressive. Right. Exactly. I, I've never been involved in a hobby. I'm I'm involved with a bunch of different types of groups in in my own personal life. You know, whether it be the Masonic Lodge and stuff like that. I've never seen people come to the battlefield, so to speak, and actually stand up for other people as they will with the camaraderie that is in this hobby. I can say that that's one of the best things I I like about this hobby. I love my finds. I love hanging out with the people I dig with. But, man, the support that people have for each other that we've never even met in our lives will come together and do something like this, and that is amazing. Exactly. For this hobby, the gel that uh, kind of bonds us all together, in a sense, truly can be thicker than blood. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. I just wanted to put that out there before you started with the giveaways. It wouldn't matter if you had them or not. I'll, always, I'll follow Josh's show, and Kenny, I'll follow you, my friend. And no matter what happens, you've always got support from everybody around you. I appreciate okay. it, brother. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And uh, hopefully, we uh, we will see an appearance from Home Finder in the chat. No, I'm sure, unless he's, I don't know, finding a home for somebody. That could be. He stays busy. But uh, I do know of Home Finder's location and can get in contact with him if he wins anything today. And, you know... Much like we saw with the Jolie fundraiser, 
Odds are very, very good that Home Finder is liable to win quite a few items based on his donations alone. Uh, I, I would say so. I mean, I, I mean, I would say <clears throat> so. Just logic. Also, special thanks out to Swansea, Denny Morrison, and Rob for their donations to this giveaway. Absolutely. So, with and that, I want to I want to add one more. I want to add one. I want to okay. add one of Krista's friends, and which has become one of my good friends, <clears throat> and that's Rebecca Southwell. She doesn't have anything to do with the hobby, but she loves the hobby vicariously through a lot of my videos. Hmm. Um, she has never, let's say, got out and done it before, but she's real interested in the history, and she 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 took it upon herself to make that donation and if Rebecca by chance you are listening thank you very much All right yep. okay with that in mind shall we get started and Absolutely. just go down the list let's do it okay let's see here let's do let's see the first item on the list is a grouping of six silver Roosevelt dimes Drawing random number one through 167 entries is what we Ooh. had based on donations. And I'm telling you what, that is a ton of support. Yes, it yes, is, it man. Is. So, I still, I still had, well, I could go on. Let's get, let's get this done. Let's do it. Okay, we'll generate here. Number 147. One forty-seven, six silver dimes. All right, let me cruise down through the list here. Number one forty-seven. I give you one guess, Josh. <laughs> well, home, home finder. finder. That would be correct. So, home finder. Uh, if you're listening and just not chatting for whatever reason, you have six rosies. All right. Well, congratulations to Home Finder. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Uh, oh, I see Past Pursuits is in. Oh, looks like the hammer's in. The hammer. What's going on, Haggy? What's going on, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Yes, that's Mr. Hageman. Hageman. <laughs> right? Okay, let's see here. Hopefully, uh, we don't wind up drawing a number more than once, so we give everybody a fair, fair shake. All right. Uh, let's see here. We've got three buffalo nickels. We'll generate, and that is number fifty-six. Number fifty-six. Well. Let me scroll down through here. I got a sneaky suspicion that's a different person. Uh, from when I was no, compiling them. It is not. It is Mr. Homefinder. Oh. Homefinder. It is Homefinder. He's coin finding right now. But uh, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's, yeah, if, it's if random out, drawing. So if we he's just out finding homes, moving. he's finding coins, too. I guess so. All right, congrats again, Mr. Home Finder. Well then, uh, so the three Buffalo Nickels did in fact go to number 56, which is Home Finder. But we had a good idea that some of this could happen based on the fact of the donations. But it's not <sighs> who wins, it's the support the the everybody came together for a common goal which is awesome correct okay we've got uh two war nickels coming up generate number 120 all right number 120 That's a pretty <laughs> large donation he made right there at that point all right, all right. This is, uh, and I'll tell you what, this was close, but it's Mr. Home Finder. Um, 
at 120, but I mean, it was, he's right next to a, another name. That was a close one. Um, yes. Mr. Home Finder is now, what was that, War Nichols? Yes, two War Nichols. War Nichols or uh, more Nichols? Okay, and that was a joke. It's the first one. All right. Okay. Let's see here. What do we have up next? A 1964 Washington Quarter, also donated by Kenny Moore. Uh, was that a Doug Quarter, Kenny? Uh, yes, I believe it was. And I suppose that's something we should mention, too. Uh, a lot of these coins are recovered relics. Correct. And that goes to number 155. I'm scrolling, and that's Mr. Home Finder. <laughs> it is. It's Mr. Home Finder. Mr. Home Finder. And, and I'll just, uh, we'll do a couple more here real quick and see what happens, but uh, I may have a little something up my sleeve for other people if... Uh, Home Finder winds up making a, a big sweep here. <clears throat> okay. So, so far, Home Finder's ruling the uh, roost, so to speak. Mm, uh, seems to be. Let's see here. We've got a... Ooh. A 1910 V-Nickel. You dug that? I did. Nice find. It yeah. is. Number 60 wins the 1910 V-Nickel. <sighs> okay. Number 60. Give you one guess. Oh, I I was thinking we were in there close to uh, Beer Barrel. Yes, uh, we were actually one away from someone else, yes. But that was Home Finder. You said number 60, right? Yes, 6 okay. I'm, right, I'm writing these down. Oh, very he's good. Really that one. He's, well, he's really going to have a coin condition. collection. Um, well, he is, but they're in really good uh, condition. Well, the thing about that V nickel was, mm -hmm. I've never, I found one once before, but it, it 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 was right next to a road, and it had literally been asphalted. Uh, wow. So it and scraped. So I could tell it was a B nickel, but it was all jacked up. And then I figured, well, I'll probably never find another one. And actually, that V nickel there that you that just was given away, I found two in the same day. Oh wow! Yeah, and that was one of them. Well, now we've got two mercury dimes up. Nineteen sixteen. Don't get excited, folks. It's a plane. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. 1945, I do believe, would generate <laughs> number two. Number two. I'm scrolling. Number yeah, you got to go clear up to the top now. Screw and <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, Mr. Home Finder. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this this guy, he may want to buy some coin albums. Yeah. And you know the thing about it is is all these were spread out, so we thought anyway. Yeah, but Mr. Mr. Yeah. Yes, Hines. these these names were put into the list based on the time that that donation came in. So names are all spread out, some of them are in groups based on the amount of donation that came in at the time. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh, I don't remember that one. Uh -oh. A 1964 Kennedy half. Uh, yes. Hmm. Now, is that Doug? That's uncirculated. Ooh, nice. I believe that's an uncirculated. Okay, we'll generate, and this time we see number 56. 
Well, that's right. We've already done 56, correct? I thought we did 55. I've got 56 wrote down. Oh, okay. Well, if we've got 56 wrote down, we'll generate again. 24. Okay, number 24. 24 gets the 64 well, Kennedy half. I hate to say this. Not really. Mr. Chris Engel. Well, yeah. All right. Beer, Beer barrels barrel. in there. Beer <laughs> barrel. Beer barrels on the board. He got himself a 64 Kennedy half. Nice. Which, nice. Uh, Chris, I know you're listening. I know you're on Kenny's friends list, and you two talk quite a bit. Kenny, Kenny is in possession of that half. So PM him your shipping address, and he right. can get that out to you. So what number was that again? 24. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay. Double checking. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's mix it up a little bit. Do we dare go after that lead breastplate inlay? Ooh, this early? Do we? Just want to go ahead and... Maybe, maybe we right. should go after a silver I, eagle. I have to have a moment of silence over that one. <laughs> I really do. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you can find the one where I dug that breast inlay. Uh, lead only. And... It was a very somber moment. I don't know if I'll ever dig another one of those again. But probably not have another group of friends like I have right now either. So it was worth it to me uh, to put that up on the, you know, on this list. Because it's a very special piece to me and it will be a very special piece to whoever gets it. A uh, great piece of history, and who knows? I may find the brass front that it went on. Uh, that's remained to be seen, but we'll sure try. All and right. Beer Barrel wants it autograph. Nice. Yeah. All right, so we're going after the breastplate? That's what we're doing. All right, we'll generate and see what we hit here. Uh, number 12. Number 28? 28. Number 28? Have we announced that one yet? No. Nope. Let me go down the road. 28's right there. I was close to it while ago. Well, number 28 is Mr. Chris Engel. Mr. Chris Engel. Wow. Wow. What a... What a... Man... And I and and you know anybody that's talked to Chris knows he has a real appreciation for history. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. I have hunted with him in person. Oh, okay. no doubt. How about a 1999 American Silver Eagle donated Ooh. by myself? Silver Eagles. Thank you very much, Josh. It, you are a gentleman uh, and a scholar. It shows a little bit of sign of wear. It's not in an airtight or anything, but it is a one ounce bullion coin. So we'll generate for that one. 161. 161. Way down the list here. 161. Home finder. Indeed. Wow. Yep. Mr. Home Finder. Now he's got himself a bullion coin. Right. And, and uh, I see that Jack of All Trades is in the house. Is he now? Hayden, how's yes. it going, buddy? Everybody give a shout out to Hayden. Right. Great guy. Congrats to Beer Barrel, Mr. Chris Engel, on that, on that uh, drawing right there. Outstanding. Oh, on that uh, lead inlay. Yes. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, let's see. We've got a uh, a two thousand silver American Eagle Ooh, donated sp- by Rob of Detecting Hidden Places. Mister Rob, is he in the house tonight? I um, see you. To tell you the truth, I'm not real sure. Right. I, I, I don't know. He may have been busy. But we'll generate. And we've got number 102. 102. If that number hasn't been selected yet. Uh, let me look here. I knew it has not. Uh, 102. Mr. Home Finder. Wow. Man, that guy Mr. has Home got a Finder. pile of coins. You know, when I was uh, listening to the drawing from Joe Lee, and I forget the guy, you'll remember who he was, Josh, that uh, they donated, I forget, I don't know what it was, 5000 something odd dollars. Yes, uh, that gentleman actually ran his own company out of Washington State, uh, not involved with the hobby at all. I know. He is actually involved in the gaming community. If, yeah, I remember that. And, and uh, he heard about the situation. They do a lot of uh, charities and benefits and stuff. So he made a $5,000 donation. And walked and then, away with three machines and uh, right, other stuff. Yeah. Told, told everybody just to uh, ship it to his business because he was actually out of the country. Wow. His wife was having some very serious medical issues that they had to travel abroad for treatment for. Wow. And it's like, man, you've got this stuff going on in your life, but yet you took enough time to send a donation like that, which was uh, 25% or more of what was raised for that fundraiser. So, yes, he he did. He walked away with... uh, Quite a few items, uh, right. three machines, and and even some other items. I do believe. Well, I know everybody understands. I mean, there's ten dollar increments in here, and random drawers. The best way to do it. Uh, uh, if I had a big wheel to spin, that would be fun. I would have one of the kids pick them out. But uh, oh yeah, it is what it is. So let's keep going. Okay, let's see here. Uh oh, we've got a uh, a very nice display done up by Denny Morrison that he had donated. Ooh, now also special thanks to Rob for his donation. Absolutely, thank you, Rob. Hey, the uh, that display you're talking about, if I'm not mistaken, those are Doug in Virginia. That's right, Div uh, Brandy wow. Station or Brandy Rock. Uh, which I'm sure you could even Randy provide Rock. a little bit of insight to that. Uh, it's in a Riker mount. It's two fifty eight caliber bullets and a general service eagle button, Ooh. along with a little computer printout that, that talks about the events there at Brandy Rock. And, uh, you know, done up in a nice little display. It's got a little little paper across the front that identifies the items. Nice, nicely done. Very nicely done. Yes. Wow. And that will be going to a lucky winner. We will generate a number, and we have number 34. Number 34. If that number hasn't been selected already. It has not. Mr. Chris Engel. He's getting the history stuff tonight, boys. Mr. Yeah, Chris I'm, Engel. Yeah, I'm starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Chris Singel just got, his, just got him some DIV history. That's awesome. And he Congrats. was even at DIV, so he knows a little bit about that sort of stuff, and I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Absolutely. Man, that that's that's awesome. Good Good deal. Okay, let's see here, I think we're running down here pretty much to where we've only got just uh, 
The the big item. Really? Yeah. Okay, what goes with that big item? The AT Pro Dirt Bandit tested and approved. Mm. Uh, possibly signed if you'd like. Uh, a Garrett duffel bag donated by me. Uh, a Garrett Edge digger. I believe it's an Edge. I don't know. It's a Garrett digger donated by Swansea Searcher. Thank you, Mr. Swans. And I may even be able to find, I don't know, maybe a, a Mind Lab nail apron or something to throw in there, too. So if they're not out digging, they'll have everything they need to get out digging other than batteries. Right. And a little bit right. of research. Now, is that is that all one one package deal there? Right. Whew. Well, let me tell you something. If you'll watch, go all the way back and watch my videos, uh, except with a couple of recent ones with the AT Gold um, and, of course, the XP Deus, that AT Pro has found a lot of history. It has found a lot of Damn stories. Wow. It has made me set and think. And it's actually made me, I don't, I don't know what the words are, that machine, and I've kept it in good shape. Um, so, enjoy it. And any questions about it, all you got to do is let me know. That's but right. I just, you know, I felt I needed to do it because of what everybody done for us, and it was the right thing to do was to give back and good luck um, mm -hmm. out there to whomever right. number will be generated. Now, do we want to draw that now or wait a little bit? Mm. I thought we, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, the first response on chat that I get says wait. Oh, there you now. go. Let's let the listeners decide. The listeners choose the first one that pops up. It says, draw it now or wait. Hey, and while everybody's thinking about that, take an opportunity right. and uh, like and rate the channel. Well. Oh, Swansea says wait. Uh, actually, uh. Actually, Suki says the, wait. I, I know, but I said the first one. Oh. Uh. I said the first... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Swansea did beat him. Okay, so we'll wait. Yeah, Swansea got in there before Super Drew. He did. He did. I was fast, though. I was quick. Well, right, and so I'll we'll tell wait. you what. With, with our listeners, you you can't be caught sleeping. They're fast on the draw. So, Super Drew, you're not dawn man out. You were just a little slower than Swans, buddy. <laughs> Better luck next time, Drew. There you go. Better luck next time. And uh, since we're going to wait, cover a couple of other things real quick. We may have some more uh, contests uh, coming up in the future weeks. Just uh, random giveaways or call-ins. And next week, as long as everything is still right with the scheduling... We've got a special guest from YouTube that will be coming on. Very passionate about the hobby. Very passionate about the history. And many of us that are in the live chat right now probably follow his channel, too. Mm hmm And, you know, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll let that out towards the end of the show. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let the listeners know who that guest is that's coming up. Absolutely. And the week after that, we just may be overseas. Oh, my goodness, overseas. And you know what? I may be doing that show from... Missouri. Uh, yes, Missouri. And uh, 
you know. There'll be some shows coming up where I'll be doing the show next to a campfire. Right. Out digging. I got out digging a little bit last week. Didn't really have much to show for fines. I did hit an 1865 Indian. But uh, That's nice. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. And an old you know, uh, automobile club badge. That thing is just awesome looking. Now, uh, well, Lynette's going to have to dirt uh, Lynette Crystal. All of them's going to have to really, you know, keep an eye on me because I haven't been able to dig for the sake of, well, it, just trying to get everything together. It hadn't been a priority, uh, you know, this trip coming up. It's been a priority, but uh, when Krista gets up there with her mother and, and stuff and uh, set my sights on uh, possibly a Dragoon camp, I'm going to throw dirt all over Missouri. <laughs> there you go. Sling it everywhere. Dig it all, leave them nothing. That's it. We're going <laughs> to dig it, and we're going to dig it some more. I'm going to dig it all. Hey, and I'll tell you, speaking of uh, that AT Pro, we've got another AT Pro user in the chat, Jocelyn Elizabeth, really recovers. Oh, all right, Jocelyn. Yes, she does use the AT Pro, and as she continues to use it, you'll learn more about it. That machine, I've heard somebody say, oh, it's a simple machine. You know what? It's amazing because... The more I use that machine, the, I set the settings on it different, or or I, the the iron audio versus you know which mode you're in. You can actually check sounds. You know, if you got the iron audio on, and you think you're hearing that little glimpse in there, and then take the iron audio off and see what it sounds like just different little things you can do with that machine it's it's a great machine That's for the right. money the you cannot beat that machine for the money with it. i just for the price of that machine it's it's yeah, it's hard to beat it right play around with it have fun with it don't let it intimidate you don't overcomplicate it just enjoy what you're doing mm -hmm. if you don't feel like you're finding much give it some time work with it the fines will come and don't guess the signals if you have to guess you need to dig it if it's telling you it could be a signal or it could be a nice one because it's already a signal i said that wrong um don't go well you know it doesn't sound exactly right i'm just gonna move on don't do it don't get one of those buttons that's sticking straight up it's giving you that half signal next to a uh, square nail go down right. there and get it yeah when the coin's on edge or the button uh, you're gonna get a different signal than if it was laying flat you know, oh absolutely the, the angle that it lays in the ground the depth what other targets may be in the very near vicinity or over it any of that can skew the signal the only way you're gonna know for certain is just dig it well, I'll tell you what, one of the most interesting holes that I dug was with my good friend Chris Single uh, in Vicksburg, and I dug a hole because I got that signal mixed with iron, and it, it was it was just the, just enough signal to tell me it was there, because it's not going to lie to you. If that signal's going off, it's there somewhere, and I pulled out uh, a piece of trench tool. I pulled out a piece that looked like a, a barrel band. I pulled out, I don't know, five pound, five pounds of iron out of the same hole. I'm like, God, is it ever going to end? And finally, when I got to the bottom, it was a Maynard. I couldn't believe it. It was a Maynard at the very bottom. So that's the signal I was hearing amongst all that iron. That AT Pro doesn't lie. Go get that signal. That's right. And we hope that uh, Jocelyn has a good night. Uh, thanks for dropping in, Jocelyn. She's going yeah, to get Joss. on out to bed. All right. I just seen that she was on her way out. And uh, also they're talking Drew's got plans this weekend to hit a farm. Oh. Yeah, he could be making yeah. some fines there. 
Yeah, especially if there's terrace rows in it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Beer Barrel, he's commenting about the uh, Maynard you dug. He says, I was here, I was there, I was there. Got to listen to them signals. Yes, he was there. <laughs> and, Got to listen to him. And Bill thought Tam was uh, trying to, uh, you know, wish him a good evening because she just abbreviated it and said good night, Relic, as in Relic Recoverus and not Ohio right. Relic Hunter. Well, but he, he says, made sure to let people anywhere. know he's sticking around. I'm not going anywhere. What is a Maynard, Grandma Tam says? That is a union. That's a good question. Why yes, don't you go ahead that, and explain okay, that? I will, I will. That is a Maynard bullet from the Union, soldiers. And there's actually three pieces of that bullet you can find. You can find the bullet itself. Um, you can find the casing. And you can find another little piece that I call a Yankee penny. And a lot of folks down here call them Yankee pennies. Oh, and yeah. for the simple fact that when you dig that up, you think it's a coin. Lynette's dug one. She'll attest to that. You'll think it's a coin. But with when a in hole fact, in it. When you, yes, right. There's a pinhole with a firing pin right in the middle of it. And what it was is the the casings, the casings, were too small they fell fell right through and uh the barrels so they had to ship those little flat pieces to solder them on at the camps and you know that way they would wouldn't fall through the barrel so uh the thing about that is when the bullet was fired that little disc that looked like a coin went flying somewhere else and so that's three parts of that bullet. And I think, and actually, the video I done with the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the 17 by 15 double D nail, uh, just a while back ago, I believe I found all three pieces. I think I found the Maynard. I think I found a piece of the, the shell casing. And I did find a Yankee penny in that video. Right. And you made sure to show those and the description for them. We're joined by... Mr. Chris Engel. Brother Chris. Hey, Brother Kenny. Hello, Miss Krista. Hey, Chris. Hello, Brother Josh. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Good, good. Just sitting here listening to the show and enjoying every minute of it. It's I bet you you've got some nice items coming your way. Well, I I'm, I'm looking forward to them, but I want an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> an autograph. Yeah. Yeah, I'll maybe do that for you, Chris. Nope. Maybe a uh, <laughs> maybe a dirt bandit COA that comes with that yeah. inlay. <laughs> no, a great show night, and I tell you, uh, looking at the chat and everything, it's it's fantastic. And Kenny and Krista, our prayers are with you guys. Mine are especially. Uh, we appreciate it, Chris, uh, very much, and uh, you know you you you've been a good good friend through the whole thing, and. Uh, we we talk just about every day, and uh, it's just uh, it, it's good that that you're there like that. And hey, I'd do the same for you, brother. And, yeah, I know, um, brother. I know, and I know yeah, Mr. Crystal would too. And I I'm there for you guys anytime you need me. I know when we first started putting the word out, Chris got in contact with me almost immediately and said, "Hey, what can I do? Where can I where can I send something to help?" And uh, you know, not not spreading any information, but uh, he he made a sizable donation himself. Yes, he did, yes. and uh, very much appreciated. Absolutely. You guys are welcome, and like I say, <clears throat> my prayers are with you, and I'm here for you. Just let me know. Thank you. All right, brother. And it's great I to know that you know we've got friends out there like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna get off here, but great show tonight, guys, and we'll be talking to you later. All, All right, right, buddy. Chris. Okay, sweetheart. Y'all take care. You All too, Chris. Bye-bye. Right. All right. Yes, yes. We're just an excellent guy, man. He's fun to hunt with. Knows what he's doing. And uh, let me let me switch modes here just a little bit. Mr. Ohio Relic Hunter had a question. Uh, I just year seen that and was going to say were something. The, uh, yes, the Maynards were made. That's an early war bullet, but it survived through just about the whole war. So... You can find them in different areas. Um, 
the uh, 1861, let's just say the Battle of Iuka and the Battle of Eastport in 1861, uh, it's full of Maynards. So right. uh, they were an early bullet, just like the uh, 69s. Right. Certainly very good. And I'll tell you, I was, I was a little... A little nervous at first starting that out, hoping that, you know, we had a few winners and, you know, uh, everything went smoothly. But looking at the chat, everybody's uh, having a grand old time with it. Yes. You know, we're, yes. And we're well, still that's, covering content. Right. Yeah, that's just, that's just speaking to who, to who our right, listener that's base is. Right, the character and, of the listeners. And the Beyond the Sight and Sound group and, and, and stretches beyond that uh there's great people here if anybody got in trouble you know they'd be people there for them uh for whatever it is um so everybody understands it's this random drawing of course it's a random pick you and i don't pick it it's computer generated and uh i think that was the way to go uh the yeah um, yeah, well and the amount of uh you know, Home Finder obviously donated a lot, and we thank him very much for that. But you know what? Everybody, the prayers, the thoughts, the Before. whatever was donated, it, it's, it all means the same. And right. it all was a part in making things better and making things easier for my wife. And, I, you know, I can handle some things. I lost my mother. Uh, I was with her at her bedside when she left, and, you know, Lynette and Krista's going through something that that eventually they're going to have to face, you know, a day that they'd rather not. And that being said, this is about them getting the time, and Krista so far away and not getting to see her. Uh, and let me throw something out there just 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 for this. You know, Krista moved away from from Kansas City to come down south with me to be with my family, uh, to be close because when we did that, my mom was having issues. And my mom asked. I said, well, I, I guess it's possible. Krista and I hadn't been together very long. And you know what? It didn't take her. It didn't take her no time at all. She says, you know, you're my husband I go where you go and so the anything that I can do to uh, you know make it easier on her through this time has got to be done and that's right. that's it and Swansea can certainly relate with that right you know it's amazing how many people that have touched our lives just with their kindness and you know, their compassion and different things, you know, and people that I worked with for four years did not show a smidge of what this group has shown Kenny and I. The, the, the support that we've gotten from y'all has it, been so tremendous, and I, I, I am so thankful. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing that when we watch a video, like, we sit back and we watch someone's videos or we read somebody's post on a regular basis. You, you build this kind of virtual relationship, but yet this show, since I started doing this show with Josh and I've, some of you called in and I've got to talk to you and all of that, I can, I can imagine someday swinging the coil with you. You know, that's, that's, it's it's like I've known you, and I've never seen you before. And it's just like the group when we went down and I met Chris and John DeVille and Miss Lou Relic Crew and all that group. I've been watching their videos so much, I kind of knew them. But you never, when you put the face with everything, it was just, it was a feeling of, uh, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. But, but I guess what I'm trying to say <laughs> is, you know, you can be around somebody every day at work and they can, they can say they're your friend and they can hang out, whatever. But when you get a group of people that's into a hobby and respects one another as people, 
this is what happens. You can't beat that. You can't replace it, and that's just the way it is. Right. And uh, shout out to the Miss Lou Relic crew. Absolutely. And speaking of our group, it was over a year ago we started with just a handful of members, uh, people who were very motivated with the hobby, and I believe it was only like, you know, 20, 25 members, something like that, right off the bat, and it started to grow rather quick and kind of plateaued for a while, and now we're over 1,500 members. Outstanding. And they're all great members, very passionate about the hobby, and, you know... A very good group. Couldn't I, I'm proud of what it's become. Well, you know you're doing good if you're you got you know that many many members. You know you're doing it right, so. That's right. You do a really good job and put a lot of effort into it. And that's what we try to uh, encourage with the members: is to do things the right way, keep the hobby in a good light, and get out there and enjoy it. Well, Absolutely. You know, carry that, carry that code of ethics with you because it's, it's, it's as important as your character. It goes right along with it. When you're out there digging on someone else's property and they have granted you permission, then treat it like your own. Yeah. Whether, whether we realize it or not or think about it or not, in a sense, we all are, in fact, ambassadors of the hobby. I mean, our actions don't only affect us, but everyone in the hobby, because it could affect the view of the hobbyist in general. Absolutely. One of those things, you know, it only takes one to make it bad for the whole bunch, and we've got plenty of bad publicity. But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Indeed. All Indeed. we can do is keep doing what we're doing and keep plugging away. That's right, man. And speaking of plugging away, what do you got on your mind, Mr. Josh? Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, well, I guess uh, we do have some members of the Miss Lou crew listening in. Yes. <clears throat> I believe so. I just got a private message says that they heard the shout out. Thank you. Very nice. All right. Yes. And we yeah. have, uh, of course, you know, I've got to mention uh, Kevin Strahan, which, which is KS Hollywood, Mr. John DeVille, L.A. Gold. That's right. And yes. And uh, Digging Deep South L.A. You got to catch his videos as well. On uh, Mr. Don Botting, Detecting Doodads. Man, you've got to check out that website, Detecting Doodads, because let me tell you something. It, it, <laughs> it, if he doesn't have what you need, you could probably tell him what you needed, and he could make it. Yeah. A mad scientist. <clears throat> That's what I was just going to say. He's like the uh, the mad scientist for detecting candy. He is. For real. You, know, you you got a little bit of an accessory you're looking for, or some, say, some bling for the machine, so to speak. He's your yes. man. Absolutely. And there's several more. We got to, I believe, the Twin Diggers, but there's several more in the Miss Lou Relic crew. A great crew that carries the same ethics. Everybody's on the same page. Um, and I'm proud to be a part of it. And uh, just uh, if you ever get a chance, go check those guys' videos out. Go to YouTube, pull up L.A. Gold, KS Hollywood, Digging Deep South. I mean, uh, just just go check them out, and uh, they'll appreciate it. And you know what? They'll watch yours, too. Yeah. You know, in a sense, <clears throat> detecting doodads is kind of like the... Uh, Pimp my ride of the detecting world. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. That's that's one way to put it, that's for sure. No doubt. Oh, Fantastic. while we're on while while let, let me back up one minute. While we're on the Miss Lou Relic crew, I do want to 
give a shout out to LA Gold because he pulled out a three inch Marshall Confederate shell. Oh, that was an uh, awesome oh, yeah. this year, and that deserves a shout out anywhere. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, so that that was if he's sick. listening, which I believe he is. Congrats on that fine, Mr. L.A. Gold. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's listening. I would have been flipping out if I found that. I know I, people I think he literally. Wants a little bit. I, I, I hate to say this, but I do know people literally that would have picked that up and goes, hmm, iron. And they would have tossed it to the side. I ain't kidding you. Right. Well, I have to tell, I have to tell you, honey, if I would have saw that and been like, what is that? <laughs> I would have been probably scared of it at first. <laughs> Yeah. yeah well. Oh, I found something. But what yeah. is it? What is it? <laughs> a mystery. Well, that, that's all right. Me. Sweetie, we shut that door, please. Yeah. Um. Well, you know, you can ask Lynette. That was kind of interesting because I did hike out of uh, about two miles with a loaded cannonball in my uh, backpack. <laughs> right. That that's that's part of the uh, certifiable dirt bandit. <laughs> I am certifiable. I've been told that. I have been called certifiable. That's right. That's all right, though. You know what? Certifiable, uncertifiable, whatever. The relic's coming out of the ground. It's being preserved, and that's what we do. That's right. That is what we do. Well, shall we pull the trigger? Pull it. All right, let's see here. For the AT Pro, the duffel bag and the digging tool combination, group effort in a sense, AT Pro donated by Kenny Moore, duffel bag by myself, and digging tool by Swansea Searcher, Brandon Stewart. We are generating, and we have number 76. Number 76. Suspense. Seventy six. And I don't even have the list, so I can't even find out. <laughs> Home finder. Really? Yes. Well... And and I'm not far from Home Finder. I'm only about ten miles from him, so if he's looking to get into the hobby, I may just have to get him out there hunting. Yep. Well, he's got a heck of a machine for sure. Right. Well, congratulations to Home Finder. Congrats, Mr. Home Finder. Congratulations. And and that was the big prize. However, it was. The, that uh, was. I, uh, yeah, that, that thing has, uh, been up many canyons, many hollows, many. It's just, it's found a lot of stuff. Right. And I don't believe that number's been selected for anything else, correct? No. Okay. Cause that's, that's the other thing we needed to make sure. So I guess it's confirmed. Home Finder does win the AT Pro duffel bag digging tool, and uh, hopefully he's ready to get out and get down and dirty with the past. Uh, oh, well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute here. Home Finder is in the chat. Uh-oh. Autograph, please. Ah! <laughs> okay, well, what I'll do then is I will, uh, if you want... Uh, since obviously it's black, I will use a silver sharpie on the bottom side there, and I'll do that for you, buddy. Congratulations, Home Finder. Uh, you you uh, you know it, it's it's not about as much the drawing tonight, obviously, as is your contribution to this family. And uh, once again, we we appreciate you very much. And. Uh, yeah. I've got his address. I can get that to you if you do not have it already. I don't have it. Um, the address okay. that I'm aware of. Okay. And that package is actually split up between the two of us. 
Kenny has the detector. I have the other half of that price pack, which I think I will just go ahead and hand deliver personally to the gentleman. Nice. And, uh, you know, that is just great to see. And we've got a caller. Go ahead, caller. It be me. Well, folks, our mysterious uh, friend, Mr. Home Finder. How's it going, buddy? Real good. Good, good. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Um, I've got uh, my wife here, Lynette's in the chat. Uh, just from the three of us, I want to tell you right now, once again, thank you very much, sir. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I know you've been through a similar situation, so you kind of you kind of got the feel and uh, gist of what of what's going on, especially yeah. with for Krista and uh, Lynette. Um, I don't know what else to say, but just thank you very much, and uh, you're very much appreciated. And uh, I guess the big question for many of us is: Do we see a hobby of digging history in the future for home finder good question well uh that depends on whether or not i live through all the holes that will be in my yard and my wife doesn't kill me <laughs> <laughs> well then the first the first task would be to really you know, master covering the plug. Best covering place to hole. start is your own yard. And like yeah. I said, I know where Home Finder's located, and he's on a good patch of ground. There's well, you know what? There. Take a Even towel with you. Yeah, take a towel with you. Put your dirt on that towel so when you're done, you just kind of ease it back in that hole and put the lid back on it and go off to the next signal. Yep. Check out some videos, and uh, maybe we can get you out there digging the past. There you go. And, like I said, I know where Home Finder is. He's very nearby to me. Maybe we'll just have to get out on a couple hunts and... Uh, Video it. Yeah, see what we can find. Oh, yeah, you got to uh, share that. I'll bring my uh, back, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. There you go. <laughs> and actually, I I do need to get in contact with Home Finder because he's got some uh, information that he forwarded to me a few weeks back that I was just waiting for the weather to get a little better. And uh, who knows? Maybe we can check that out together. Absolutely. Well, we'll see what happens. I tell you, I, I um, uh, you know, when you use that machine. You're. It won't take you long. That that AT Pro is really friendly. Uh, anybody that has one, I'm sure will agree. When I say that, though, uh, there is things to learn on it. I'll look around here. I think I still have it. Uh, I think Krista may help me look, but I I think I actually have the instructional uh, DVD that goes with that particular. For, or I may not. I'm not sure. But if I don't, uh, you can actually go to, I think you can download it on a PDF. Or we can even uh, probably find an instructional video for it on YouTube. Uh, oh, that yeah. Yeah. Sending the links for. Well, yeah. And um, um, what's his name? Is it Gary Moore, Moore uh, from Garrett there? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, he he does all, all of it. Yeah. The instructional. All right. Well, then, hopefully, uh, you know, we get that all out to him soon. And, uh, you know, it may take us a little bit to get these items out to people, but they will be dispersed to those winners. Oh, absolutely. And we do appreciate all of the support very much. Wasn't sure how this was going to roll because this has been the largest giveaway done by the show. Uh, man, 
number of uh, drawings, number of items given away. And Hopefully you know, let me nice coins coming too. Yeah, let me let me jump yeah. in there a minute and say something, um, guys. You just never know because when we were doing, uh, Josh and I semi assisted along with Kevin Strahan, different ones to help uh, Chicago Ron out with the fundraiser for Joe Lee. You know, I believe I, you know, we we did a monetary deal and I sent in actually I think I sent in a uh a uh US box plate I donated yes, to sir. that as well. Yep. That I had found really close to Shiloh. Which Ron really liked that thing. He would have liked to have gotten right. a hold of it. Right, but you know, at that point in time, did I ever think I would be on the other end of of something like that? No, not at all. Uh I knew not at all. So you don't take anything for granted. Uh, but, uh, you no, know, enjoy every day. Enjoy your parents if you still have them. Enjoy your brothers, your sisters, your friends. Because you just don't know. But if you're unfortunate enough to run into a situation where you were, you may need a little guidance or may need a little help. You're in the right hobby. You're in the right group of people. Don't be afraid to reach out now. And uh, Stop, we're, we're all one. Right. That is very true. And also another side note. Don't forget, folks, for right. everyone out there who uh, is a mother, or for those that are thinking about their mothers, Mother's Day is coming up. It is. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there, especially mine. <laughs> On both sides of the family, you know, my mother and mother-in-law. So, but congratulations to all of our winners. Congratulations to Home Finder. Congratulations to Beer Barrel, Chris Engel. And I'll see if I can't do a little something extra. We'll see uh, what how it pans out, but I may take all of those entries and do a random draw one more time here in a week or so for a couple of the Beyond Sight and Sound shirts since we have yes. brought those back. Yes, also uh, the same ones that's on this random draw list. I still have some Garrett items. Um, I knew we didn't have time tonight. So uh, uh, just different little odds and ends. I'd like to give, you know, give them a chance to grab, a, grab some of those. Right. Uh, because I want everybody, you know what, I have so much of it. We may just go down the list and try to, I may try to, you try to get something out to eat everybody if we possibly can. I'll just have to sift through and see what's there. But I appreciate everyone on here, and I just want you to know that. So. Right. And uh, <clears throat> with those shirts that I mentioned, give me a little bit of time on them. I don't know yet if these are going to be the airbrush design or if they are going to be transfer design how it is that uh, those will come about. But I do have a little something special to get out to Ohio Relic Hunter first. Ooh. And uh, I've still got to get his address, but I do have a package that I am compiling a special request order that he had had that it has taken me quite some time to get to that. So, on that note, uh, Bill, you'll be getting that just as soon as you send me your shipping address. No charge. So, congratulations right. to him as well. Uh, for everyone else, 
If you enjoyed the show, by all means, please like, rate the channel, and, uh, you know, click the pink hands, throw us some stars, whatever. It's, uh, we do the show to spread the content, the good word about the hobby, and just generally socialize with all of the people out there that do follow the show in the group. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and, you know, don't don't be afraid to share Dirt Bandit's YouTube channel. <laughs> right, or Ohio Metal Detecting. Yeah. I tuned in late. What did I miss? Uh, a number of coins that you won. <laughs> Five yeah, you, coins. you actually have a collection. Buffalo. Yeah, I believe there were some Buffalo Nickels, some uh, Silver Roosevelt Dimes, uh, a V-Nickel. Uh, there were a number of them. Uh, we'll have to send you a private message and, and let you know those those items that are coming to you. Sounds like I'm right. So it... it uh, you, you've got a, a little selection of coins coming, too. Yes, sir. But I think we should probably roll out of here, so hang in with me, folks. Uh, for everyone else, if you like the show, click the pink hands, rate the channel, and tune in next week. Our guest is a member of the YouTube community, and for those who haven't checked him out, go and check out the channel, Diggin' Freedom. Absolutely. He will be the guest next week unless something goes seriously wrong with the scheduling. The last I knew, we were still on, so we will have him as the guest next week. Uh, All right. Promo to drop over the weekend, probably. Thanks for everyone for tuning in. Yes. We've got to roll. And dig it all, baby. Oh, yeah. Got to dig it all. Mm -hmm.